Hi friends and welcome to Arcade Treasure Center. My name is Roy and in this video I'm going to teach you all about gold. Not the gold bars that you find that say 999 fine and you already know what they're worth or gold coins that numismatists can tell you that just by knowing the grade you can look in a book and find out what it's worth. But I want to teach you about gold jewelry. Gold jewelry like this to be exact. And why would you want to know about gold jewelry like this? Well, do you know how much this gold jewelry is worth? With a little bit of knowledge, I'll be able to give you the tools and knowledge to know what this gold is worth just about by looking at it. Let me give you an example. Say you found this ring at a garage sale, flea market, estate sale. Do you know how much this ring is worth? Let me first say, I'm not an expert. I don't have a degree in gold, but I do know a lot. And let me tell you a little bit about my background so you'll understand. When I was young, my dad owned a gold and silver shop. So I was raised learning all about gold, silver, and coins. I also learned that a lot of people don't know the value of what they have. Why is that? Why don't they know the value of their jewelry? Well, the reason being is most people just don't know. I would see somebody come into a shop with a ring like this, and they'd tell my dad they paid $4,000 for it at a retail shop many years ago, and they'd like to sell it because they need the money. He would take it. He would look at it. Say it says 14 karat. Say that he tested it and it does test gold and it has diamonds in it. And then he would take it, weigh it, and tell them he'd give them $150 for it. That was very puzzling and perplexing to them. So why is that? That was the question I wanted to know. And so I learned the answer. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you several tips and a little bit of knowledge so you'll understand how to appraise your gold jewelry and know exactly what it's worth, especially if you want to resell it. So go grab your favorite beverage, maybe a snack, a pen and paper if you want to take notes, and sit back and relax and enjoy this video of knowledge that I'm about to share with you. Before we jump in and start talking about gold, I just want to say one more time, welcome to Arcade Treasure Center. My name is Roy. If you like videos like this, then you might consider subscribing and click that little notification bell. That way you know when videos like this come out. Now I've been a reseller practically all my life. I've gone to garage sales, estate sales, flea markets, trade shows, just about anywhere I can find items to flip for a profit. I've owned my own business and I've sold at flea markets and trade shows. And while I've traveled around, I do a lot of reselling. I retired several years ago and I just couldn't let that reselling bug go. So I've been selling on eBay for about 10 years and still do to this day. And I still find a lot of gold like this. So this video is rather lengthy and it's important that you don't skip ahead to try to find what you think is relevant. By the time I'm teaching you everything you need to know about gold, you're gonna understand why it was important to know all the things that I've taught. In this video, I'm gonna teach you what is gold, what's the difference between carat or carat, some simple math to determine the percentage of gold, how to use carats to determine gold purity, different gold colors and why they look the way they do, what do hallmarks and numbers mean on your gold jewelry pieces, some quick tests to check if your gold is real or not, and what is my gold worth? So, what is gold? Gold by itself is a naturally occurring element. It is represented by the chemical symbol AU and atomic number 79 on the periodic table. Gold is the most malleable of all precious metals, which makes this precious material perfect and ideal for jewelry making. Gold is ranked by carat, C-A-R-A-T, which means 24 carat is its most purest form. However, gold can be mixed with other materials such as nickel, zinc, and copper, and sometimes it can be rhodium plated. Gold itself is soft. However, by combining alloy materials, the composition is strengthened. The desired effect means the material or the gold will be stronger and last longer. And that's very desirable for the beholder or the wearer. So now you've got your piece of gold jewelry and you need to read the markings on the inside, but you can't see them because they're so small. Or if you're getting older like me, you really can't see them. So we need our glasses. But even with glasses, I can't see the inside of the jewelry. To be able to tell what the markings say. So what do I use? Do I use a jeweler's loop like this? Do I use magnifying glasses like this? Or do I use eye loops like this? Well, it really doesn't matter. No matter what you use, as long as you can read the markings inside a piece of jewelry. Me, 
I prefer either one of these. And I use a, a loop because it folds up or I use a pocket magnifying glass because it folds up and I can stick them in my pocket and that way I have them whenever I need them. So that brings me to my question. What is a carrot or what is a carrot? And what exactly do those numbers and letters mean inside a ring or a piece of jewelry? Well, let me explain. K, KT, or CT all mean carrot. When you look inside your piece of jewelry, you may see numbers and you may see letters. And sometimes you may even see a three-digit number. And so K or KT means carrot and CT, which means carrot, CT is usually used in Commonwealth or European countries. And a lot of those European countries will use numbers instead of 10 carat, 12 carat. And I'll explain further later on. The term carat, K-A-R-A-T, refers to the fineness of gold, such as I said, 10 carat, 12 carat, 14 carat. The term carat, C-A-R-A-T, refers to weight, usually when they're referring to gemstones. But sometimes that can also refer to gold as well. I know it's all a bit confusing, but it's okay to use both. Now that we've got carat and carat out of the way, what do the numbers on a piece of jewelry mean? Well, the numbers represent the finest of parts of gold. Anyway, parts per thousand. As I said before, carats is the finest and the number represents the parts per thousand. So if you look at eight carat gold, it's 333 parts per thousand or 33.3% pure gold. If you look at 14 carat, that's 585 parts per thousand or 58.5% pure. And if you looked at 24 carat, well, that's 1,000 parts per 1,000. It's the purest of gold, which means it's 99.9% .9 fine gold. So are you thoroughly confused yet? Well, hold on to your seats because I'm about to confuse you some more, but I promise I'll straighten it all out. Eight and nine carat gold is not considered gold in the United States standards. Eight and nine carat gold is the most minimal possible gold there is and it's usually found in British Commonwealth and European countries. We don't recognize it in the United States. To be sold in the United States, gold has to be 10 carat, 14 carat, 18 carat, and 24 carat. 8 and 9 carat is the lowest possible standard, and it'll tarnish very quickly. So you may be asking me, Roy, didn't you mention 15 carat? 15 carat, or 625 parts per thousand, which is 62.5% pure, is gold recognized in the United States. However, it's antique gold, and it's not made anymore. It was stopped and discontinued in around 1935. So if you find a piece of jewelry marked 15 carat or 625 gold, well, that piece will hold a little bit more value than just gold value because it was discontinued before 1935. And so now you got antique and gold value. And hold on, Roy. What about 22 karat gold? Well, if you find a piece of jewelry marked 22 karat gold, that came from the Middle East or Asia. It's usually very bright yellow and very soft. In other words, your best jewelry to find in the United States is 10 carat, 14 carat, 18 carat, 24 carat, and you can easily find the weight and value of all those carats that I mentioned. Can you please explain a little easier so we can all understand? Okay, well, let's just jump right back into it and I'll explain it even easier. All right, if you pick up your gold jewelry and you look at it, and instead of having a hallmark like 10 carat, 14 carat, 18 carat, 24 carat, and you notice three digits, and those three digits may indicate it's gold, but it may also indicate it's silver. A good indication that it's silver is, of course, the piece is silver, not yellow or gold looking. And it has these numbers. These numbers you want to avoid. 800, 925, or 950. Those generally represent silver. If you find those on your jewelry, even if it's yellow color, it's not gold. It's silver. Unless you're into buying silver. So, Roy, you're telling me that this necklace right here... It's stamped 750. It's worth more than a necklace marked 925? Yes, that's right. Remember, I said 925 is equivalent to silver. 750 is generally found in European countries or British Commonwealth countries. And 750 equals 750 parts per thousand or 75% purity, which means it's equal to 18 karat gold. And how do I know that? Well, you're going to find out here in a second as we start to get into simple math. Before we get into the simple math portion to determine the value of your gold, let's talk about the hallmarks and numbers you don't want to find on your gold pieces. 
let's say you look at your gold jewelry. And for instance, it says 10K GP. What does GP mean? Well, many of you probably already know, but in case you don't, you don't want to find certain hallmarks on there. You don't want to find EP, GP, HGP, or RGP. EP means electroplated, GP means gold plated, HGP means hard gold plate, and RGP means rolled gold plate. So if you find those on your piece of jewelry, and it says, for instance, 10K GP, then what that means is your piece of jewelry is made of some other metal material, and it's just plated. It's not solid. So now would be a good time to say, if you need to pause the video for a minute, go ahead and do so. Go ahead and refill your drink, and make sure that you have a pen and paper handy. And if you want to get a calculator, go ahead and get a calculator. I'll wait while you pause the video. Oh, you're back. Okay, well, now let's get into this simple math. First of all, I'm going to tell you, when I start explaining it to you, the simple math may not be so simple. But once you get the hang of it and you've done a couple of problems a few times, you'll realize that this math is almost as simple as 2 plus 2. Overall, this simple math is going to be relatively easy. We're going to break it down into a couple of equations that will be easy to understand. But first of all, you got to learn the carats of your gold and find out how to use them to measure the purity of your gold. So that way you can take the purity of your gold and determine the value. And that way you'll know how much your gold is worth. Before you can determine how much your piece of jewelry is worth, you first have to determine what the carats are of this piece of jewelry is and how to use the carats to measure the purity of your gold. In other words, if you've got a ring that came from British Commonwealth or a European country, I explained earlier that it will have three numbers. For instance, if this one says 750, and I know I already told you 750 equals 18 carat, but bear with me. If this says 750, all you have to do is drop the zero and you have 75 or 75% gold. So you already know the purity of this would be 75%. So I'm going to give you an equation, and you don't have to write this one down. I'm going to give you another one, but I just want you to listen to this one and just try to follow along. It's going to be a little bit confusing. One thing I want you to keep in mind, though, remember this. One carat is equal to one part of 24. Now, keep in mind, 24 is 24 carat or pure gold, which is 999 fine. You can't get any finer than 999 fine. Now, that being said, Picture this ring, and it says 22K. So if this said 22K, it'd be 22K parts of 24 pure gold, or 22 24ths. So if you divide 22 by 24, you get 0.916. If you move the decimal place over two places, you get 91.6, which would be 91.6% pure gold. But if you took 0.916 and multiplied it by 1,000, you'd get 916, or 916 out of 1,000 pure gold. Or now you got your number. Let's just say that it was 625. If you took 625 and multiplied it by 1,000 and divided by 24, you'd get 15. And what is 15? 15 carats. Wait a minute. Is that really confusing or what? Wait a minute. Did I lose you? Okay, let's do this really slow and real easy because we have to find the carats and measure the carat to find the gold purity in order to determine our gold value. Now I'm going to give you two equations and I'm going to put them right here and I want you to write these equations down and they're going to be real simple and there's something for you easy to remember. So the first equation is 14 divided by 24 equals 0.583. Or if you move the decimal place over, 58.3%. The second equation is 14 divided by 24 times 100 equals 58.3%. Simple equations, easy to remember. And let me use this as an example and give you an explanation. Say you purchase a piece of jewelry that is 14 karat gold. And since the most number amount of carats that you can possibly have is 24, just divide 14 carats by 24. You get 0.583. This means the gold purity is 58.3%. Easy to understand, right? Okay, so put those equations away and hold on to them. You're going to need them later on.
Before we go any further, let me explain there's different types of gold. And I don't mean the carrots, I mean different colors. Gold comes in many colors and it depends on the types of alloys or how much alloy was inside that gold. The amount of gold is still the same. For example, you have white gold, rose gold, all the carrots are still the same. The purity of the gold doesn't change because the color is different. Color added to gold jewelry is just used to enhance the desire effect of the person that may be wanting to buy it. For even more understanding, let me give you a better enhancement. There's rose gold and there's Black Hills gold. So what are they? What's in them? Rose gold is a comprised mixture of copper and gold, which gives it that rose gold color effect. Black Hills gold, which is famous for its grape clusters, leaves, and stems, gets its color from a combination of silver alloy and yellow gold to produce that green hue. Also, the copper is mixed with yellow gold, and that gives it its red or pink hue, and the combination is Black Hills gold. And we have white gold. And sometimes we see white gold as being prettier or shinier, and some places will even charge more for white gold and yellow gold. White gold is no different. It's just the purity of the gold that which makes the carrots. But white gold is just a mixture of silver, nickel, and palladium. And generally, it's rhodium plated so that that way it has that nice, bright, shiny silver effect, which we call white gold. Now you're saying, okay, Roy, you told us about yellow gold, white gold, the different kinds of gold. You've told us about numbers and carrots and letters. But what we want to know is the facts. We have this gold jewelry. What is it worth? How do we sell it so we don't get ripped off by our local buyer? And I'm going to tell you. But first, now we've got to talk about ounces and grams. And I know what you're thinking. Roy, I know what an ounce is. Well, no, we're not going to talk about a regular ounce or a fluid ounce. We're going to talk about troy ounces. An ordinary ounce or a fluid ounce has to do with the weight of mass of something, food, a liquid. What we're going to talk about is a troy ounce. And inside a troy ounce are grams. Now, one regular ounce would be 28 grams, but a troy ounce is 31.1 grams. You might want to write that down. One troy ounce is 31.1 grams. You're going to need this knowledge in a minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you sat here while I've told you all about gold, and we've even got the equation on how to determine the purity of the gold just by the carrots. Now it's time for me to tell you how to find out what this gold ring is really worth. And I've given you the tools to do that. So I'm going to give you another equation. So I'm going to need you to grab your pen and paper and your calculators so that that way we can determine exactly what this gold ring is worth. And with that tools and knowledge that I'm about to share, you'll know exactly what your gold ring is worth or your gold jewelry. And you'll be able to know what you're going to get for it if you were to turn around and sell it. Now, one thing that's very important, and I want you to keep this in mind, if you were to take this ring to a pawn shop, they're only going to give you the value of the gold weight. They're not going to give you the value of the gemstone that's in the middle, whether it's a diamond, a ruby, an emerald, or even just glass. They're only going to give you the value of gold weight. Now, I just wrote down a quick equation, and I stuck it behind the camera, so I'm going to read along. But while I read along, what I'd like you to do is write it down and I'll put it up here so you can see it. So after we run through this equation, maybe a couple times, you'll understand it. You'll be able to write a cheat sheet down and you'll be able to determine what the value of your gold jewelry is. With this gold ring, let's determine its worth. Now it's a 14 karat gold ring. So what I want you to do is I want you to take 14 and divide it by 24. Write it down. Remember, 24 is pure carat gold. So 14 divided by 24, and you get 0.583, which is equal to 58.3%. Next, we're going to take spot value. Now, you can find spot value just by looking at the newspaper, the computer, the phone, the news, and just find what the actual price of gold is currently. For this example, let's assume that it's $1,700 an ounce. So I want you to take 1700 and divide it by 31.1 and that'll give you the exact amount of one gram of 24 karat gold, which is equal to $54.66. Now I want you to take that amount, $54.66, and multiply it by 0.583 and that will give you the determination 
of what one gram of gold is worth at 14 karat. You see how we're starting to go with this? Now the next part is something I haven't told you about, but it's kind of important and you're going to need some sort of a scale, a pretty accurate one. This is an actual jewelry scale. Now you can use a regular scale, but it's not going to be exact or a postage scale. Again, it's not going to be exact. What you're going to want is a scale that measures in grams. And if you don't have one, that's okay. Let's just go ahead and continue with the equation so you'll understand how to weigh your gold. So just for the purpose of this exercise, we'll assume you have a scale. Now we'll take this ring and put it on a scale. And it weighs 6.67 grams. So now I want you to take that number you came up with earlier, $31.87, and multiply it by the weight of the gold that we just weighed, which was 6.67. Your total is going to be $212.57. That means if I went to go sell this ring at current spot value at $1,700 an ounce, this ring is going to get me $212.57. So if I paid $5,000 for this ring five years ago, and I needed to sell it now, it's only worth $212.57. And I'm not going to get anything for that diamond. That's why I like to go to garage sales, estate sales, flea markets, and trade shows. And that's why I like to find my gold. So let's run through one more equation. And let's use this ring. And this is a 10 karat gold ring. So what I want you to do is take 10 and divide it by 24. You're going to get 0.416666. Anyway, you get the picture. There's a lot of decimals. What we're going to do is we're going to round the decimals. Next, we're going to look up the spot value. Now, this time, let's say it's $1,600. So what I want you to do is take $1,600 and divide it by 31.1. That's going to get you a total of $51.45. Keep in mind that $51.45, that would be the cost of one gram of 24 karat pure gold. So now, we need to determine the price of this gold ring at 10 karat gold. So take 51.45 and multiply it by 0.4167. That gives you $21.44. Now you know the price of one gram of 10 karat gold at a spot value of $1,600 an ounce. So what we're going to do is take that ring and we're going to weigh it just like we did before. Okay. We weighed it and it comes out to 4.32. Write that number down. Did you write that number down? Okay. Now take 4.32 and multiply it by $21.44. And you're going to come up with a total of $92.62. If we were to go to the pawn shop and offer this for sale, they'd give us $92.62. Now they might actually be generous. They might look and see that there's well over a carat of, of diamond there. And they might be generous and offer us $50 more, knowing that they could take the diamonds and knock it out of this ring and probably make about $1,500 to $2,000 just on the diamonds alone. Now, spot value of an ounce of gold is always going to change. But I went ahead and took the liberty and made a cheat card. Right here is where you can see it. And it's never going to change for 10, 14, 18, or 22 carat. It's always going to be the same decimal number. So if you want to pause the video and write these numbers down, then go ahead. And that way you'll have the numbers available for you. So the other thing I want to tell you is if you've got a piece of jewelry and you can't find a mark and you're pretty sure that it's gold, go ahead and take it to your local pawn shop or jewelry retailer and they'll test it for you. A lot of them will do it for free or they don't charge very much. And don't forget to get yourself a good jewelry scale. You can usually find these at hobby stores or retail stores and you can definitely find them online such as Amazon or eBay. So be sure to pick one up. Sorry, I don't have any for sale. Well, that's it. I don't have any more. If you like this video, then give me a big thumbs up because it really helps the channel. And if you like videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe and also click that notification bell. That way you'll know when more videos like this come out. So there you go. You've got all the tools and information. You now know how to be able to tell what your value of your jewel really is. And if you ever go to a retail store or you want to go to a pawn shop, you know how to outsmart the big guys. So thanks everybody. And remember, find it, sell it, profit. Take care, everyone. Have a great day and be blessed.